So if you'll remember, when we set up the player controller, we declared a variable for game over that we never actually set up. And we're going to go ahead and do that now, as well as create a variable that we're going to make use of in the following step. So let's start with, um, with going to our canvas. We're going to expand the canvas. We're going to collapse everything but our wave UI here. And then what we're going to do is right click it and add a UI, excuse me, a UI text object. And what we need to do first is center that. Uh, so we're going to center the alignment as well as our, uh, our vertical alignment here. We're actually also going to switch over to the game view so that we can see this immediately. We want to change horizontal and vertical overflow to the value of overflow. And then we need to go into our fonts uh, folder that's on the resources. Within resources, there's a fonts folder. And we want to assign that font to our font uh, variable here, our font field here. So we're going to do that, and that's going to give us a nice uh, font that's going to match our game a little bit better thematically. Next, what we want to do is go into font size and change that to a value of 72 to get it a little bit bigger. Um, I think that's probably, well, let's go up a little more. Let's do, um, let's do something like 84. Yeah, 84 looks good. Um, next, we're going to change the text to say game over. Two words, not just one. And then let's change the text color to red to signify that you have lost a nice, nice brooding evil color for us there. Uh, let's go ahead and rename this to game over as well. And then let's go back to our player before we move on to the next object and drop that game over uh, into that field there. Next, what we can do is select the game over object and hit control D to duplicate it. And we're gonna rename this one to wave start and then replace the text with the same thing, wave start, but we're gonna add a space this time. And we're gonna change this color to a nice orange, uh, similar to our points uh, our points thing there, just to signify that we are uh, you know, about to do our thing here. And then um, now what we can do is go ahead and enter our player script. Well, actually first, let's uh, select both our game over and wave start objects by clicking one, holding control and clicking the other and clicking the check mark to uh, disable those objects. Let's jump into our player script to uncomment that line about setting the active game over screen so we can uncomment that. And now our game over screen will appear when we die. And um, that's it. And we can actually test that very quickly. We'll turn our three enemies back on and just let them uh, wreak havoc upon us. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, and you'll see you die and the game over screen appears time freezes and you're welcome to press escape and back out yeah so that's it for this step in the next one we're going to set up the game manager and in the following step we're going to finally end setting up our game we'll have waves to spawn and a game to really play